So these are the Sony MDR1000X. Um, this is an Indian unit. Uh, so you will go out to see the packing that may be specific to the Indian market. Uh, it comes in a pretty nice premium packaging. Uh, it also has a lot of the features mentioned in a lot of Asian languages and also in English. Uh, a couple of features that I may want to that I really want to highlight is of course the fact that it is a noise cancelling uh, active noise cancelling headphones. It supports high res audio, so a wider uh, sound stage is set to be available, longer range of frequencies. Uh, it also has an ambient sound mode, so you can actually pipe the external noise into your headphones even if you are uh, out and about so you are trying to actively cancel the noise cancelling effectively it supports hd voice so just like the newer volte standard which supports a wider uh, range of frequencies uh, it supports good quality which is actually pretty much supported in all headphones these days and uh, it supports uh, music playback time of 20 hours with the noise cancelling one with the bluetooth so that's a really good feature, I like that. Uh, it also supports some newer codecs, like obviously it supports the Qualcomm's APTX popular codec. It also supports actually a proprietary Sony LDAC codec, which is said to give about three times the bandwidth of the regular APTX or the SBC uh, codec. So it, and the good thing about that is currently it is proprietary, but coming up with the release of the Android O, it will be offered in the Android update to all the devices, so that's a good to, good thing to know. Digital noise cancelling, obviously, and uh, enhancement engine. So it actually, if you don't have a high res file, it will up stage them, uh, upscale them to look like they are much uh, higher uh, bitrate, which I am not that convinced about because uh, I mean, come on, it's a bit of a gimmick. Uh, so I bought this in the month of uh, towards the end of July and uh, the box that I got is actually made in uh, April of uh, 2017 as you can see here and this unit is made in Malaysia uh, whatever that's worth okay so unboxing it uh, there's, there's actually another box inside that slides out of this uh, we'll just keep this one aside uh, this is a really premium box I must uh, add at this time uh, so it opens up like this this these are the headphones uh, let's focus on the accessories at the moment you get a nice uh, actually not so nice bracket uh, with the uh, USB cable and uh, 3.5 mm cable actually open the 3.5 mm cable to see if it was working uh, otherwise it was very nicely wrapped uh, and uh, then you get some uh, instructions and a quick start guide to get you started with I mean come on it's a very simple one and this also includes actually some instructions on the touchpad we'll get to that later and these are the <coughs> headphones that are available in a pretty nice little package uh, it's a semi hard case with a, another pocket uh, in the back to put something if you want it opens up very nicely and these are the headphones they fold up very nicely and it's actually a pretty compact pouch so it is easy to carry around in the back okay. taking out the headphones uh, <coughs> let me give you a physical overview and then we'll proceed with the review um, so these are, um, the headband is primarily made of metal uh, this is a metalish looking plastic really uh, then the cups have a, a synthetic leather feel on the back of it uh, it's, it actually feels very nice uh, you can really feel fools into thinking that this is actual leather. Uh, then the two no ear microphones to cancel the noise or to pipe them in, however you want. Uh, and the headphones, as you can see, are very articulating, fold both ways inside and also flat. And also, you can see they are very flexible. I will not bend them through because I paid for them with my own money. Uh, the inside ear cushioning is very soft but it's not memory foam so in case you were wondering 
and I read on the internet that this can actually be removed uh, there's a couple of uh, tabs that you have to pry with a, something like a screwdriver and they do come off only they seem really soft and uh, very nicely mentioned that it's the right side thank you wireless and the Sony the model name written here coming to the uh, buttons you'll see that this has actually very less buttons uh, uh, power on switch the noise cancelling on off switch and uh, the ambient sound the ambient sound actually has three modes an ambient voice which only pipes the voice from outside and nothing else and then it's an ambient sound normal which actually pipes all the sounds that are coming outside and uh, Actually, these are pretty useful features. I thought they may be uh, pretty much a gimmick because, after all, the noise cancelling can't be so good that I actually have to set keep a setting to hear the outside sound. But I'll talk about that later. So uh, this was the unboxing, and uh, let's proceed with the review now.